Do I look a little bit chunkier than usual? I do, don't I? I do. I feel a little bit. Well, you know, we've been off for a few days, and I was, you know, uh, you know, I, I know there were reruns. I apologise, but I'm not really in charge. Anyway. <laughs> And I don't know why I'm doing that. I just feel I'm not really in charge. <laughs> you probably can't see what I'm doing with my hands right now. <laughs> but it's very naughty. <laughs> That's right, I'm stealing things. <laughs> from my pants. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, the thing is, I feel a little chunky because I've had a few days off, so I like to uh, engage in my hobby, which is eating and sitting still. <laughs> I really, I, I thought, I've got a couple of days off, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to get in shape, and, but it's awful doing that. I don't know why anyone would want, you have to move around and not eat stuff. It's what a bore. <laughs> And then I watch people, you know, you know, in playing sports, you know, whenever I see the Olympics or, you know, any kind of athletic thing. I know it's not right now, but I'm just saying, when I watch that kind of thing, I think, well, why would you do that? <laughs> Running up and down. There's, people used to do that back in the olden days, but now we have TV. <laughs> we have TV and snacks. Why do... <laughs> In the old days, you had to run after a gazelle, catch the gazelle, and, and then you would, that's how you had your snack and sit down. But nowadays, you can have your snack gazelle delivered directly to your door. That's right, I have gazelle delivered. I'm a Hollywood... Ay, caramba! We'll be right back, everybody. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. See what's new on Applebee's 2 for 20 menu. Classics you love and new flavors you'll crave. Actually, something that you believed in. <laughs> and not some kind of sarcastic behavior. <laughs> Why am I talking like this this evening? <laughs> You're talking like some kind of cartoon chicken this evening. <laughs> That's right. It's cartoon chicken night at the big <laughs> show. Guess what, everybody? <laughs> What, Southern prostitute? <laughs> I do declare I did not say I was a prostitute. You're not very Southern either, actually. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> no, it is. Now, I know. I know I normally say that. I know I've now gone into a Monty Python voice for the evening. <laughs> Do I, I'll get on with this in a minute, but uh, I was showing my son YouTube clips of the uh, Monty Python Silly Walks thing. <laughs> if you've never walked the silly, watched the Silly Walks sketch, watch it with a 10-year-old boy. You'll laugh your ass off. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny anyway, but with, it's like, ah, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a great day for America. And uh, why? I'll tell you why. Because it's Jay Leno's birthday. Happy birthday, Jay Leno. Hey. Hey. 61 years ago, he was born today. Well, technically, today. His chin came out two days earlier. I actually... 
<laughs> what is it? We don't know. I actually called Jay today, asked him what he wanted. He said, whatever Conan has. Um, so, I get it's a joke. It's a joke. Happy birthday, Jay. It's a great day if you're a fan of mutinies today as well. Yeah, and who isn't? <laughs> well, because it was on this day in 1789 that mutiny on the bounty took place. What happens is that British sailors on HMS Bounty threw their captain overboard. Now, the bounty uh, was a ship that inspired books, movies, absorbent paper towels, and the captain... <laughs> The captain was William Bly. Do we have a picture of Captain Bly of HMS Bounty? Whoa! Hello! HMS obviously stood for handsome man. Something. Anyway, it's, it's difficult to be a captain who's respected. You can't just put on a captain's hat and expect people to take you seriously. Do we have a picture of an idiot in a captain's hat? There you are. <laughs> Captain of Masturbation! <laughs> Somebody swap my poop deck. I, uh, um, <laughs> talking about HMS Bounty, the, now what happened is the sailors spent a few months exploring an uncharted uh, island in the South Pacific, and then the captain said, get back on the ship, and they said, no, we're mutinying. Because I, I think they didn't like giving up the idea of sitting on a beach full of topless women, because they're like, oh, I've had enough of these promiscuous women here in the South Pacific. Let's get back to England with its repression and bad dentistry. <laughs> Actually, let's not. <laughs> so what happened is the sailors forced Captain Bly into a rickety little boat with a skeleton crew and left him to die in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what that feels like. God damn. Shut up. What I can't believe, though, is that some of Captain Bly's crew actually chose to go with him. They turned down an island full of exotic women to share a tiny boat with other men. <laughs> and when those sailors got back to England, they wrote the musical South Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wash that man right out of my hair, send him on his way. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing that there. <laughs> anyway, it's amazing that Captain Bly and his, his skeleton crew actually made it back. They travelled 3,600 miles through shark-infested water using only a tiny sextant. I have a tiny sextant I use sometimes. He's, he's over there. Say hello, tiny sextant. Hi, boss. <laughs> <laughs> send him on his way. <laughs> ah, I made myself laugh, that's something. Anyway, the story of HMS Bounty has made uh, some great movies. In the 1980s, they made one with a young Anthony Hopkins and a young Mel Gibson. And one of them would later be known as Hollywood's creepiest villain. And the other one went on to play Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Did you breastfeed, Senator? <laughs> Toughened your nipples, didn't it? <laughs> That's the best Mel Gibson I've ever done! <laughs> anyway, while they were filming the movie The Bounty, though, this is a true, well-known in Hollywood story, that Anthony Hopkins actually expressed concern to the director about Mel Gibson's drinking. Of course, we now know that Hopkins was completely overreacting, and in no way... <laughs> Toughened your nipples, didn't it? <laughs> Anyway, they shot that movie where the actual mutiny took place in the South Seas. Do we have a map of the South Seas? There you are. I see a booby island in uh, Tahiti, New Jersey. So, that's it. The South Sea Islands are supposed to be beautiful. The French uh, post-impressionist painter Paul Gauguin went to live in the South Pacific. He said the sunsets had a shade of orange that you couldn't see anywhere else on Earth. It would be like seeing Snooky up close. <laughs> Of course, Paul Gauguin ended up with a terrible case of uh, syphilis. Like Snooky. <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing to say. Did you just offer him a candy? <laughs> You're meant to be pretending to be watching this crap. Yeah, 
you want a candy? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm actually here. You're not watching this on TV. I mean, you are, but you're not. Mm, I, I don't care. I don't know anything about mutiny on the bounty. No. <laughs> I feel such a fool. I put my big historical monologue together. I did my very best talking. I come out here and you're just sharing candies like we're in some kind of non-formal event. <laughs> You didn't even bother to heckle me. You just shared the confectionery with your friend. <laughs> well, I think I'll take that as being commercial break time. What do you think, Jeff? Without ads, we're just two dudes in a basement. No, we're one dude and an appliance in a basement. We'll be right back, everybody. Oh, this is the rude uh, robot hand, isn't it? The one that goes like that. <laughs> uh, you'll have to pixelate that. Yeah, well, sorry about that. There goes next year's budget. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? The dingo ate my tweet mail. <laughs> See, this is from uh, Stephanie in Sherwood Park in Alberta in... <laughs> Alberta, if you don't know, is in Canada. If you don't speak Spanish, by the way, Canada means Canada. <laughs> Stephanie says, Dear Craig, I recently found out that one of my ex-boyfriends turned gay after we broke up. What should I think of this? Well, number one, he didn't turn gay after you broke up. <laughs> he was gay and you didn't have a penis. <laughs> He may have adored you, but uh, you didn't have what he needed. <laughs> when he said to you, it's not you, it's me, he meant it. <laughs> CBS. CBS cares. All right, this is from uh, Jason in Provo in Utah who says, Dear Craig, I'm a guy with long hair. Whoa! It's gonna get crazy! <laughs> my dad wants me to cut it off, but I don't want to. How can I keep my hair? Oh, I don't know, man. You can't be tamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dad. Uh, always trying to crush your long-haired dreams. I know how you feel. I would like to have long hair, but I can't. You know why? Because I would look even creepier. <laughs> and CBS really gets annoyed at how creepy I am already. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you shake your head, Judge Laugh, at me. <laughs> oh, I shake my head, Judge Laugh. I'm laughing, but I disapprove. <laughs> Just let me out of here. I thought it was coming to the prices right. Anyway, this is from Anne in Munich in Germany. Oh, well, you know what I like to do when I get uh, an email from Germany? Read it in a German accent. They love that. <laughs> Dear Craig, my fiance wants me to invite his ex-girlfriend to our wedding. What should I make of this? A great deal uh, over the years that you're married. Let her, uh, let him invite his ex-girlfriend to the wedding, and then every time an argument breaks out during your uh, your long and I'm sure very happy marriage, you can bring up the fact that you let his ex-girlfriend come to the wedding, and you win. C 
CBS Cares. This is from Alex in Atlanta, Georgia, who says, uh, Dear Craig, a good friend of mine wants to be roommates next year, but living him with him would drive me crazy. How do I let him know kindly that I can't live with him? Oh, easy. Make a pass at him. <laughs> or just mention it to him. Just, oh, mind you, it might backfire. But... <laughs> But you can say, I can't wait till we're roommates and we can really get it on. <laughs> and then if he goes, yeah, then eh, you might try it out, see how you do. <laughs> Maybe you'll change your mind. Uh, this is from Austin in Elgin in Oregon, uh, who says, they, you know, that sounds quite mystical, doesn't it? Austin, Elgin, Oregon. <laughs> Zaya, bring the chalice. <laughs> Uh, Austin, Elgin, Oregon. <laughs> Dear Craig, I am 20 years old and have a beard. Oh. <laughs> Some people have complimented me on it. Others have told me that I look like I'm 30 or like a homeless person. <laughs> what should I do? Well, you could shave or not shave. <laughs> That's pretty much your options. <laughs> I'd quite like to grow a beard, but CBS doesn't want me to have a beard because they said I'd look creepier with a beard. <laughs> and I'm like, how would that be creepier? Hot damn. Yeah! That's right, that's what I'm talking about, Jeffrey P. Hot damn! Hot damn! Hot damn! No, that's a piece of ass. Yeah! Hot damn! Hot damn! Hot damn! Hot damn. Six robot. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna need a cigarette. Yeah. This is from Paul in Brooklyn, New York. We'll be right back after the break. Right. Welcome back. My first guest tonight. My first guest tonight is an Emmy-winning actor, but his career, obviously, now that he's here, is going in the wrong direction. <laughs> he stars in Blue Bloods, which airs Fridays at 10 p.m. on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Greg! What did you do that for? Because you don't own me. <laughs> Greg, was that real? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? Sure, I'm kidding. Why not? <laughs> I'm just the kooky one. Take a look at this. It's true that guy was wearing his best friend's dog tags when you found him, Danny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that he couldn't save the night he earned his silver star. What's a silver star? It's one of our country's highest awards for bravery in combat. Like a trophy for football? No, Sean. It's not at all like that. There are some things we do in life that are more important than the things we do for fun. <laughs> well, that's not funny at all! Please welcome Tom Selleck, everybody. Tom Selleck. I know that was a little serious. <laughs> that was the word. That was the word. The show was just right, well, pumping along. Everyone was like, ah, ah creepy, there, laughy, there, and then there, there's some funny stuff, but it's it's a serious show. I got a question for you. Okay. Uh, when I come here, it's really nice. You know, you get giveaways. Yeah. In your room, and I get this basket. Yeah. But every time I come here, it's got a bar of soap, deodorant, yeah, um, and mouthwash and toothpaste. Yeah. Am I the only? You're guy the only one that gets all of that. Everyone else. <laughs> no, really? They give that I got this is cheap really? soap, too, by the way. They... I got some. Wow, they really give away. I don't know yeah. we give away boardwalks. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> is that for yeah, real? Yeah, that's it. Really? Wait. Hey, now, you want, you want to use that, Tom? That's, yeah. that's uh, the ideal mustache oh. washing soap right there. 
Yeah, probably so. I haven't tried it, but it'll get, you know, I guess. Do you wash your moustache separately from the rest of your body or like take a separate time of day to uh, do it? My moustache has its own agent. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about him, but but I think he does. I mean, uh, the, he has a groomer come in and, and we don't talk and they, they just, uh, I lay back and they get, that's it. They get stuck in? Yeah. You know, yeah. I sometimes think when I talk to you that if your moustache <laughs> wasn't there, you've got your eyebrows to back it up. Yes, no. I do. You know, the, I, it, it's almost, it's almost as if you have three moustaches. I do. I do, and then, you know, in Magnum, I made the mistake in the credits of doing that little eyebrow thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. So every time I take a still picture with, with somebody, they yeah. say, do that eyebrow thing. Yeah. And I say, it's a still picture. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, it, it won't show. And you ever think now? This in is a, my life. No, no, I understand. Do you ever think in a in a powerful scene when you're working as an actor, right? Yeah. And and you've got a you know a scene like, like a that, powerful scene, right? Like, like that. that powerful scene there, right? And you think I better be careful of how much eyebrow I use here because <laughs> because they're big, and if you move them too much, pow, you're out of the well, scene. It and can be if you're lit wrong, you can be like hair eyebrows and a mustache and nobody will see anything else. And yeah. It's a little weird. That's probably how you look here. I would imagine. Yeah. 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 This Thanks very... for the nice lighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way it is. A yeah. CBS treating you right? Because it'd be nice to know that somebody yeah. was getting something out of them. Does anybody else even get mouthwash? Or no, just... no, nobody. Well, they spent no all the money on the boardwalk products. soap for you. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. Are you still riding horses? Are you still? Um... I am riding horses. Yeah. Uh, um, Did you ride a horse here today? No, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, but Secretariat is. I know. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my you, God! You, uh, come on, then. <laughs> Who shot at the door? <laughs> I know it's a real horse, but if there were a guy inside, yeah. is the same guy always at the back, or do they switch on? I believe they draw lots. <laughs> also, there's a yeah. competition. They go to the Mexican restaurant at the farmer's market. Yeah. It's not a job you want to get into. No. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's a tough area. So how's the Blue Bloods things going? You're playing a cop. Blue Again, Bloods. you're always playing law enforcement well, I guys. Well, got, I got my Jesse Stone character. Yeah. Uh, which uh, he's a is private on detective, isn't May 22nd. He? Right. My number seven, Innocence Lost. But he's different. You know, Jesse's more of a mess than, than Frank in Blue Bloods. Frank is kind of the patriarch and the New York police commissioner. And yeah. Jesse's just a mess and he lost his job last He's an al alcoholic, yeah. isn't he? Uh, probably so, but yeah. I don't think he's ready to admit it. Yeah, well, that's, see, that's the first step of recovery, apparently. <laughs> so, Blue Bloods is going good. I got to commute. I leave uh, um, tomorrow to do some filming. Well, whereabouts? In New York, because we shoot it there, you know. Oh, really? I'm, I'm like you actually that. make the show in the place where the show is set? Yes. That'll <laughs> never catch on, no. man. you gotta make it. you got to make it in Toronto. That's where everybody makes well, everything. Well, they said Toronto and sometimes... Look, I, uh, I, uh, some shows pretend they're someplace else. And I have nothing against it because I like to see my friends work. Yeah, no, that's but, fine. Yeah. But we figured New York was good if you're playing the New York City Police Commission. Yeah, well, uh, it, it probably I'm helps. I'm old-fashioned. Uh, do, uh, do you enjoy New York City? Do you like uh, I do. pee and pizza? I do. Yeah, uh, they, um, whoa, what is, where did I go? Bravo's Pizza, can I say that? Yeah, sure, By Bravo's whoa. Pizza and Boardwalk Soap, really that's good. the two big sponsors. <laughs> But they call they they call them pies there. If you're a real New Yorker, you call it, I want a pie. Well, you can't say that. Yes, you can. No, no, because no, me. You well, you see, where I come from, a pie has meat. In it. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things that are flipped around where. Yeah, that's from. right. Yeah, yeah, pies have meat in them, say. and you can see you you can't see the word fanny. No, so you, you can't. Right, but you but can't you see can the say word say fanny. Bum. You can say. But because of fanny, you don't no, want to no, go there. No, you can't say fanny. In Britain. That's that would no. be like saying a really rude word. Yeah, but we're not there, so we can say. Do they know what we're talking about? <laughs> well, I don't think we can tell them. Well, we, can, we could say that in Britain, a fanny is an area that's near an vice American fanny. Yes, it's yeah. vice versa. Yeah, it's kind of... Am I getting too graphic with the... <laughs> I, just, I just wonder... <laughs> Your, your, your sexual status is... How does that work? Do you go, come here, honey. Hey. Let's... 
Let's get going. Oh, it, was a, it was an ar articulation that was probably a mistake. Yeah, I know. We probably should uh, cut that out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we we're live. Oh, no. You're all right. So, but, so you, you live here then? I live here. In LA? But see, I, I still even now think that you live in Hawaii. I know it's stupid. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but I, every time I, I, I just for a moment no. I was thinking, oh yeah, you must be coming in. From Magnum the lives in. Hawaii. I know that. And, and he's a fictitious character, even though he's in like. He's in a hundred countries. Oh well, he's all over. Are they yeah. going to make a movie of it? I had a rumor they're going to make a movie of it. Uh, they're having some trouble finding somebody to wear the short. <laughs> Would they cast a, would they, yeah, would they cast mean, a young dude to do? Uh, well, yeah, they haven't called and they haven't written to me. Oh man, see that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, you know what I'm not going to do? What? You know how they 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 buy a, a TV thing and then they spend a hundred hundred million dollars on explosions and make fun of it and then they call you up, the old guy, to be a to be in it, yeah. Say be in the movie and we'll give you some money. And that will bless our movie. I'm not going to do that. Okay, no let me way. just no, wait. No, I'm going to do some no. stupid cameo wait. in a Magnum movie with a guy who can't wear shorts. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much money are we talking about? Well, you know, if we're talking seven figures, maybe. Yeah, I think I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So well, if they say, so, so if the budget for the movie is like, say, $100 million, right? Oh, more. All right. Well, bigger, $150 million. Because my cut of a cameo is even bigger. Well, that's oh, what I'm, I'm saying. They, they, could give, they could give you $10 million. Yes. Oh. So, so we've established that you will definitely yeah. not do it. Yes, you will do it for money. Well, I don't want to prostitute myself. What are you talking about? You just did. $10 million is a, well, that's a, a true, lot yeah. of dough. So what you're saying is you're not a hooker, you're just an expensive hooker. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Maybe. Well, you didn't think about I it. I hadn't thought of it. Before. Yeah, they'll give you a lot of it money. It might be a big, big uh, movie. It might be a huge movie, and you might like the actor that yeah. they cast as the, as the Magnum, and then you might think, well, oh, come on, I'll, I'll do it. I'm and not I'll... going to like the guy they cast as Magnum. <laughs> Him. You might. It might be Bieber or something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, You're right. It's a bad idea. What, yeah. what, what maybe... He'd fall over once they put the mustache on him. Eh? It was like... Oh. Yeah. They, they are talking about, for real, Magnum, I don't think it's going to happen, but, but, but three men and a, a, a baby, they're talking about three men and a bride. Pretty good idea. That's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, yeah and get the, the old cut. Yeah, is Gutenberg I available? Do I don't know. Is Gutenberg available for this? I... The Gut man's ready. <laughs> You're right, Dad. <laughs> Ted Danson's ready, and I'm ready. I and, think that'd be great. And um, Yeah, and that'd I don't be... have to play a stupid cameo. You play, you, no, I you play, play the, the guy. Real deal. You play I the play guy. Peter Mitchell. Yeah, that's a great idea. Better I, idea. I, and, and then you could, have, you could have a wacky, kind of creepy Scottish sidekick. Yes. <laughs> you could play the groom. I could play the groom. Of my little baby, who's now 22 years old. And I old. could be the creepy older groom. Yes. <laughs> and you can, you can, like, hate me and then punch me and stuff. Yeah. Go back to the action stuff. Yeah. No, that's my good. stock and trade. Yeah, we're out of time, Tom. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mouth organ, awkward pause. You what, what? <laughs> mouth organ or awkward pause. Oh, mouth organ. But it's, uh, blues harp is a little more polite. It's kind of like Fanny and... Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Well, okay, blues harp... Or mouth organ. Blue star. All right. <laughs> this now, is, careful, I don't want to get lost in there. So no, I don't want to tell you. This, this, this is my second blues harp. Really? Yeah. Did you do it the last time you ran? Yeah, but I want to. Okay, you can. That's all right. Remember, I'm you gonna... can win the golden blues harp if you can actually play it. <laughs> Having trouble getting your organ out there, Tom? <laughs> 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 it's I, the only reason I have it, so I can say that. I can't, I, I can't play, but let's play something. All right, then. Ready? What? Let's do the, the theme music to the, uh, the end of Three Men and a Bride, when, you know, the, everybody finds out they love each other and they've learned something. You get, and you married. I don't get my... Yeah. <laughs> Stop telling like everybody! Stop telling <laughs> Welcome back. 
sorry. Hang on a minute. I'll be right with you. I'll just wrap it in. You want a candy? Laffy head shaking gets you candy. <laughs> My next guest is in the show Breaking In, which is Wednesdays on Fox. <laughs> Greg, are you starting rumours about you there changes in your career? Yes! <laughs> or not. <laughs> Take a look at this. We've got a mole. Could be anyone, so we've got to stay under the radar. Sweatshirt or cargo pants, maybe. Yeah, we can make it work. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Odette Annabelle, everybody. Odette Annabelle. Sometimes you have to class it up, you know? You classed it up pretty good. Thank you very much. You look much. like a type of woman who uses boardwalk Ooh. soap. I like that. I actually really appreciate the soap and the deodorant. You know, I had to reapply there. So really? Were you a bit helpful. stinky when you got here? A bit stinky. Oh, that's you know, all right. But it so, happens. Hey, so. Not to me. No. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Hey, uh, congratulations. The last time you were here, you were Odette Justman. That's right. And then you changed your name through marriage. I'm an Annabel. An Annabel. I, I, I uh, made wow, it hello. Look, uh, Daddy's got a little money, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's nice. a nice little rock, right? Yeah, that's I good. Know. Your husband's been on the show, hasn't he? He has been on the show. Yeah, that's right. Dave. Dave. Yeah, in case you forgot his name. I remember his name. <laughs> no, that's good. Where did you get married? Uh, we got married in Ojai, and we went I've to Bora for What's that? our honeymoon. Where did you go? Bora Bora. The South Pacific? Where they had mutiny on the boat? That's right. No mutiny. That's no mutiny? No. Did everyone surrender? I surrendered. Oh! Did you? That's nice. Uh, <laughs> so that's lovely, though. That you're now a lot of actresses when they get married, they don't change their names. No, I know, but we talked about this last time. I'm I'm a traditional type of gal, you right. know. It was important to me, so I did it. Right. Well, good. And I'm happy about it. Yeah, it seems fine. It it's a perfectly good. nice it's name. A, it's got a nice little ring. It's lovely. It sounds a little bit like arable. Uh, yeah, it which does, makes me think of not... farming and tractors and good old <laughs> and I apple was raised cider. on a farm, so you were. Yeah, I was. Can you strangle a chicken? <laughs> it was so sad when my grandfather would do it, and it's they just make the most horrible know, noises. Terrible, yeah. Did you ever uh, go out and hear the lambs? Oh, the lambs. Do you still hear the lambs? <laughs> oh, death. That's what, is it, was so it an scary. animal uh, type farm that you grew up on? Was there horses and goats and cows and pigs and ATVs? They're not animals. No. No, they are sort of robot horses. They're dangerous. They are dangerous. The it's ATVs. So fun. No, I know, but you can go right over them. You got to be very careful. No, I know. I, I, I've been in an accident on an ATV. A horrible accident. A actually, a pit bull was chasing me, and I got scared and I jumped. A, it was a bad situation. Why was the pit bull <laughs> chasing you? Were you in a junkyard trying to steal? <laughs> of dogs and and one of them decided that it didn't like the ATV and so it chased me and hmm. I crashed pretty hard crashed? Did, the, did the dog decide to change its ways and help you when it arrived no it got so scared it looked at me and it ran away and I was so thankful I was like oh my god do you think pit bulls are actually really vicious as a breed or people make them vicious I don't think they're lovely. vicious I love animals so much and I, I I think that it's just the way that they're raised maybe yeah 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 maybe. some of them like yeah. Scottish people <laughs> They're not angry. It's just no, sometimes it's just the, the way, way they're raised. Yeah. Sometimes makes just them like a little. Just like Cubans. Uh, Cu Me. Are, are you Cuban? I'm Cuban. Have you ever been uh, to Cuba? I've been three times. That's illegal. It's very illegal. But all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning how to cook Cuban. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Books, Cuban cooking, plantains. Plantains, yeah. rice, beans, a lot of seasoned beef. But you know, it's really amazing because I'm in my kitchen, open up a bottle of wine, throw on some Gloria Stefan, you know, come on, check your body, baby, do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've met Gloria Stefan. Have you? Yeah, she's got a restaurant in Miami. I went I to know, the I... food is sensational. See? I'm learning how to cook that food. Well, that's great. And then you can say to your husband, Dave, you got some splaining to do. <laughs> that's right, Lucy. Yeah. Now, is that, is that, is, well, that guy, he was Cuban, wasn't he? Ricky Ricardo? Ricky Ricardo was yeah. Cuban. So that's yeah. the Cuban accent then. You got some splaining to do with <laughs> yeah, that? That's right. Is it really? <laughs> he is. Yeah. Kind of. How do you get to Cuba illegally if you do, you, do you go through? Oh, Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Oh. Yeah. I went when I was 15 years old. That was the last time I went. And you know, they uh, the first time I went, I was about nine years old. We were showering with buckets, and I was like, what is this? But it was genius. I mean, they, they really just love life, and they don't have much. It's basically like you're stuck in the 50s out there. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's... I don't think you're going to make any enemies saying Castro is a Tootsie Fruits in this studio. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to say it. Oh, really? <laughs> I think Castro is an... Uh-oh. <laughs> Can I say that? Is that too controversial? It could be. Come on, he's a Mikey Dingo. I know he's been there for a long time, but it matters. Ay caramba! Ay caramba! I sort of agree. Is that bad? Yeah, no, it's okay, not bad at all. Good. He's been oppressing his own people My for years. My parents taught me to stay away from politics and the whole thing. Oh, that's not politics. He's just a. Ooh la la! I agree with you. Yeah. He's a. She yeah. is cute. <laughs> sure. Jeff agrees. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. No, I think I've no. So you still have family there then? I have a lot of family out there, yeah. And you have uh, family in Miami. Family in Miami. No, that was a guess, but I figured that as you were Cuban, you might have family That's in right. Miami. That's right. Every Cuban has family in well, Miami. Where, where was the farm then that you grew up on? It was, couldn't have been Miami. Near Palm Springs. No, about an hour and a half away. You know, my grandfather was a farmer. He, you know, he was raised chopping the sugar cane. And when he landed in the United States, it was all about, you know, he missed that. But that's what keeps him alive. He's 90 years old now, and he still oh, wakes up every morning. And, you know, he has some goats now. That's all really we have left because he's so old but listen it do you keeps enjoy alive. do you enjoy the goat cheese I love goat cheese. I like goat cheese. But as well. I never put when I was younger I never used to because I knew that it would come from the farm or even the eggs. I wouldn't ever want to no eat. No cheese them. doesn't come from eggs. No, no yeah. cheese doesn't come from eggs. I realize. Yeah, no, I didn't grow up in a farm, but I've read a couple of books and yeah. I can tell you. You can teach me. Yeah, things, I teach right? you a thing or two about yeah. farming. And you get the eggs there, that's for your omelets, etc. <laughs> Mouth organ or awkward pause? Hmm, awkward pause. Oh, interesting <laughs> choice. I'm already doing it. <laughs> it's been real. You've got the watch. I've got a watch, yeah. <laughs> it's a nice one. It's a good watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Given to me by someone I like. <laughs> Good thing you have a watch. I'm a watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over this game. Can I have a harmonica? Oh, it's harmonica? a game to use? <laughs> I like to play the harmonica. It's a mouth organ. The mouth organ. So you don't have the nerve for the full awkward pause, then? I'm becoming awkward. Then I'll fetch my organ. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Quickly, though. Can you play? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's a new one. Oh, yeah. Freshly thinged. All right. <laughs> ready? <laughs> oh, Dad! If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059.